are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about former NFL player Akib Tlaib in this video. Now, months ago, I did a video on this channel about him and his brother. They were actually coaching a youth football. And Michael Hickman, who was the opposing coach, end up getting shot by Akib Tlaib's brother. And now, folks, Akib Tlaib's brother has been charged with a murder. And we'll have to see what happens going from there. However, Akib Tlaib is not out of the woods on this one. He has not been charged with anything. But however, Michael Hickman's family has now filed a lawsuit on Akib Tlaib. Here we go on TMZ Sports. Akib Tlaib sued for wrongful death after fatal shooting at youth football game. They're actually saying that Akib Tlaib actually incited the fight that led to the shooting and uh, death of uh, Michael Hickman. Let's read it, guys. It's NFL star Akib Tlaib has just been sued after he allegedly helped incite an altercation that led to a fatal shooting at a youth football game back in August. Michael Hitman's family filed the lawsuit in Dallas County on Tuesday, claiming the actions of Tlaib and his brother Yaakov Tlaib at a uh, Bit 12 Youth Sports League event ultimately led, to, ultimately led to Hickman's tragic death on August 13th. According to the suit, Hickman was coaching the Dragons Elite Academy nine and under youth football team against the, the Tlaib's North Dallas United Bobcats. Hickman's family says the game was contentious, claiming several calls had tensions running high throughout the contest. At one point, according to Hickman's family, the Dragons scored a touchdown following a Bobcats taunting penalty. And the, the Talibs were so upset about it, they ended the game. The plaintiffs claim in the suit that Hickman then went to retrieve the game ball, but was confronted by Akib who allegedly threw a punch. I don't remember if we actually heard about that um, before. So this may be the first time I've actually heard about a key actually throwing a punch. Uh, surprise and outnumbered, the Hickman family said in a suit, Hickman defensively backpedaled. The family went, went on to say in the lawsuit that Yaquab then pulled out a handgun and fired five shots, striking Hickman with several bullets. And this is the uh, the video right here. And I don't I'm not going to play the video because I'm pretty sure we get uh, hit by uh, YouTube here. But um, that's a uh, Yaquab right here. And you don't actually see a key batchy throwing uh, the punch in the video. But anyway, Hickman later died at a local hospital. The Hickman family is suing the Talibs and others for wrongful death, asking for unspecified damages. And it says, as we previously reported, Yaquab has was arrested and later charged with a murder. 36-year-old Akib, meanwhile, has not been charged with any crimes. Akib's attorney released a statement following, following it all in August, saying Akib was present when the unfortunate incident occurred and is very distraught and devastated over this terrible loss of life. He would like to convey his condolences to the family of the victim and to everyone who witnessed this unfortunate tragedy. The yet Denver Broncos star has yet to publicly comment on the suit. So there you have it, guys. Akib Tlaib is getting sued. And they mentioned other people, too, as well, uh, getting sued. Um, I don't know about the other people there, but um, Akib Tlaib is not out of the woods. Now, I'm not a lawyer whatsoever. I don't know if this will be successful or not, but um, they're saying that he did throw a punch. And maybe maybe if he did actually throw the first punch, maybe he could be sued. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not a lawyer, guys. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, Akib Tlaib getting sued. And his brother looks like his brother's going to be uh, going to prison for a very, very long time on this one. Anyway, guys, let's know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.